The command button is a button you can add to your form that when you click on it, it'll execute a command. What kind of commands? Well, I'll show you in just a minute. But first off, so you know what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be adding a print form button up here up at the top that when they click on it, it'll print off all the records in the form. So down below, we got a total of 14 records. And it won't print these as separate pages. It'll actually try to run them together. And where one doesn't fit on the page, it'll cut it in half and split it over to the next. Or you can go ahead and just have a button that says print record. So whatever record you're on, you can go ahead and just print that. In any case, to go ahead and add a button, let's right click in a blank area, go to the design view, come up here on the design tab, go to the controls group, and there we go, quadruple X, hover over it. You can see the pop up button, click on it, and then down below, hover onto the grid until you can see a plus sign. That means add, so when I click, it'll add the button. Opens up a wizard, it'll ask us a bunch of questions, and then based upon our answers, Let's start here. Different actions are available for each category. So what are your categories? Record navigation, here are the actions. When you click on the button, it'll find next record or find record or go to first record. Record operations, add a new record, delete. Let's see, print a record, okay. Or if you want to print off the entire form, let's go to form operations where, there you go. You can also open form, close form. Let's go ahead and do print form and then click next. And it says, okay, what form do you want to print all the records in its entirety in that form? Well, it allows us to select other forms, but the form that I'm in is new customers. So let's do new customer, click next. And the default's picture, so that's the sample button. Do you want a picture? Do you want to browse for your own picture? Do you want to put some text in there? Print form, we can go ahead and do something customizable, print now, exclamation point. Well, let's do it without the exclamation point. Go ahead and click next. And then what do you want to name the button? Something meaningful that will help you refer to the button later. Well, it is a command. So if you want to do CMD for the back end, when you're looking for buttons in the property sheet, you know, the command button, CMD, and then you can see it's print. And then go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard. And there it is. Now, if it's not the right size, you can, of course, go ahead and hover over one of the resizing handles, like in the bottom right-hand corner, until you can see arrows pointing in opposite directions, and then click and drag it that way. Or you can go ahead and double-click on the border, bring up the property sheet, and there's the width of the button, and go, okay, you know, let's just do one inch, hit the tab key by 0.25, hit the tab key, and then close out, and oh, that's nice. Okay, let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. Right click on the tab, go to the form view, and it doesn't matter what record we're on, it's going to print all the records. So print now. That's good enough for me to bring up this window because I don't want to click okie dokie and have like, well, seven, eight pages, however many it can squeeze onto a page come out of my printer. So great. And then, of course, if you want to get rid of it, Right click, go to design view, with it selected, hit the delete key, and it's gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.